Hey yo, the sun is shining, the light is beaming, the birds are chirping, and it's your boy FILI back again. We got another episode of Styles by Philly, and this episode right here, I'm actually so happy to talk about because I touched base on these two collaborative brands that have been doing stuff together collectively for some time now, and that is Fear of God and RRR123. So once again, they've teamed up to do another collaboration to drop something new and some new pieces. And I'm gonna give you a full review as well as talk about the pieces that I copped. And I am waiting in the middle for a few more pieces, but I don't know when they'll get here. So let's get started with this video. Back. I found my way, mission accomplished. I got it now, far from afraid. Can nothing haunt me? Confident now, my life is great. Can nothing stop me? Don't count me out, ain't got no ways. Ain't stuff for nothing. I found my route. What it do, beautiful world? You know, your boy FIL is back again. We're gonna talk about some new sh I just caught. Some of the new new that came in. I was happy to see that Jerry Lorenzo finally got to do a runway show exhibiting what is the eighth collection, which was pretty cool to see. I mean, a lot of textures, a lot of different fabrics, a lot of different textiles, a lot of different styles, some old, some new, some innovative. Man, that show looked fire from what I've seen. I mean, I wasn't able to go, but I was able to see from pictures and through other lenses when people were out there celebrating an accomplishment for Jerry Lorenzo and the Fear God Squad. Happy to see that. Jerry Lorenzo, you deserve that, brother. You know, with flowers to you as you put on some dope stuff. And we got to see some Fear God Athletics finally show up. Now, that's for a different story because I don't know how I feel about the footwear. I think I'm more of a fan of the 8th collection footwear than I am the Fear God Athletics, but let's keep that for when they release. Let's talk about what I copped from the Fear of God Revington merch. This is a, I guess you would call it the 5th collaboration. This time they came out with some new things. They brought back some old designs, uh, you know, kind of innovated on some. So let's talk about the pieces that I got right here. For for now, I am waiting for some in the mail and I did miss on a few that didn't even release through the website, but it's all good. I mean... Somehow, some of your boys gonna find a way to get them. So first and foremost, let's talk about this Fear of God, you know, Revington collaboration in regards to a hat. Now, I don't think I've seen a Revington Fear of God collaboration in regards to headwear yet. So this is pretty cool to see. This is a 100% nylon hat, I believe. It literally looks like an athletic hat, to be honest. You see in the very top right there, starting in the front, you see that it has that graphic design in regards to one, two, three, and at the bottom it says Fear of God. That one, two, three looks like what is the mountain. I believe this is called the mountain. And it looks like it's in form of like the three Adidas stripes when you look at it, like one going down, two going down, three going down. Again, the graphic looks very interesting in regards to that. Before I get started in explaining about anything else in regards to the hat, when you do get these nylon hats, they will have like these little like, I don't know, dust particles per se. Um, one thing I can definitely say is do not use a lint roller on this hat. Maybe on the black portion, keep it far away from the graphic that was press print on this because I actually used by mistake um, the lint roller instead of a brush and automatically I got some of the, the print taken off. Now. It doesn't look that bad for me because it looks like it's been worn. You know what I mean? Like it has this like vintage worn look to it. That letter right there by the A. I'm not mad at it, but realistically speaking, if half of my freaking you know graphic design was peeled off, I'd be really upset because then you wouldn't be able to read anything. Uh, imagine if it just said of God one two three or not even of God two three. Like that'd be really weird. But anyways, let's get back to the hat. It's a one size fit all and it has an elastic backing, so you know. If you're a fan of these hats, you'll definitely will, will not miss. Nonetheless, inside it does have, a, I believe what this is, is a cotton sweatband around, which is pretty cool. One thing that I liked about this collaboration actually is that all of the tagging came with eternal collection tags, like the Fear of God tags. Again, I had a theory in regards to the collaboration between Fear of God and Revington. It, some collaborations being more Jerry inspired than Revington. I believe this is more Jerry inspired with some pieces and more Revington inspired with others. Now, all of these texts do have Fear of God tagging. 
like I said, Eternal Collection tagging. I didn't see any Revington tagging at all. Um, but then again, I'd have to look inside the other text of the crew neck that I'm gonna display in a bit. But yeah, this is the hat. Happy to see that we finally got a new piece in regards to the Revington uh, Fear of God collaboration for this Hollywood Bowl. I'm a fan of this hat. I wish I would have got um, a few of the other pieces in the mountain. They are on their way, but I wish I would have been able to show you in this video. Next, let's talk about what I actually was shocked to see because never have we seen Fear of God and Revington release anything besides long sleeves, uh, crew necks, hoodies, and at one point they did release just one pair of pants. This time now, they released, lo and behold, t-shirts. So one thing I gotta get out the way first and foremost is if you see my pre previous video in the past, you would have seen that I talked about you know their sizing so you can get a better understanding if you want to buy something i know some of these pieces definitely go for resale and you don't want to buy something that doesn't fit you now my previous video throw that out the window the sizing on this is completely different now from what i know is that the sizing is still one two three but this time i believe i told you that one meant uh small medium two meant medium large three meant uh large extra large now one means large two means extra large and three means extra extra large so these are oversized i mean it gives off the lenciaga oversized vibes i know a lot of people went for a size one when it came to these i still went with my size two and realistically speaking i ain't mad at it i'm happy i got this this is one of the tees that i did get uh interesting enough it does have this graphic print on it it says one two three and says fear god and it looks like there's a baptism this is a photograph by a famous photographer whose work has been displayed in museums um i could i forgot what this photograph is called uh my apologies i'll probably put it there in there in regards to the font uh interesting enough that it also says athletics at the bottom i don't know if this is like a fear god athletic it just says athletics but it has no other let's say branding inside or tag that says that it's adidas or anything like that on the back it does have some more print and it says fear of god why do you keep running one two three it comes with this yellow with the fear of god the black says why do you keep running and the one two three and that like infrared i guess coral red looking um print now the back is pretty cool because it has some raised print where it says why do you keep running the fear of god and the one two three are just flat print screen print so it gives it a different texture and different look when you're rocking this i'll definitely say something that's really cool and interesting is that if you look at the text inside like i said you don't see a lot of revving tin tags on this again it's all eternal tags on on these pieces from the tag on the back of the neck uh to the take uh the care for tags and it does say fear of god and for the first time we do see that it does say not medium not small not extra small not large it does say a number two on it which is pretty cool the care for tags explain to you that this should be dry clean but you could also wash it in your machine and this is 100 percent cotton you know you can't be disappointed in regards to uh jerry lorenzo fear of god or revington always putting out great quality teas uh with organic materials i will say this if you live in a very very hot area even though it is cotton it does breathe this is a very heavy tea it does weigh a lot so if you don't have an issue you know rocking something heavy and sweating out a bit if you live in a hot area then go for it but if not you may be a little bit it may feel a little discomforting knowing that you're wearing something heavy in a hot area nonetheless love the tea and i'm happy that i got this now let's get to the second tee that i got and it is this tee right here now i do apologize because i forget what a lot of these tees are called like they do have names to them i'm um, just really excited that i was able to make a video for you guys but this is the other fear of god tee this one just says fear of god in the front and it says april 19 2023 truthfully speaking i don't like when any of my garments have dates on them it's just, I don't know, not a fan. But I, can, I understand why this does have that because this is not your regular tee. It is merch from the Hollywood Bowl uh, runway show that Jerry Lorenzo had. So I get it. But again, he mixed merch with high fashion and 
I can't hate that. It's pretty cool. I don't think merch will ever get this kind of quality in regards to a t-shirt or hoodies or sweatpants, anything like that. They, these t-shirts and hoodies and crewnecks, they are, I would say, high qualities. Um, high quality, pardon me. As you can see right here, it does have the, the screen print where it says Fear of God. And also it says April 19th in a raised print, which is pretty awesome. Again, that eternal tag that have been coming out with all the eternal collection that Fear of God dropped. In the back, you got that, what I like to call El Nino <laughs> print in the back with one, two, three. This is such a dope graphic tee. Uh, I know a lot of people I see me uh, rock this and some people on IG have actually sent me offers to buy this tee. I would definitely say this is one of the things that sold out right away. I mean, instantly at the uh, runway show, at the Hollywood Bowl, as well as online. These things sold out right away, right away. This is the cream colorway, by the way. Really happy to see that they actually brought back the the old graphic El Nino. As you can see in the video right now, I'm rocking the first collection that they did, uh, you know, witnessing the one, two, three, you know. But this one, I would definitely say that in comparison with what I have on right now, and this tee, this El Nino is a lot darker in the print. I ain't mad at it, I love it. Very, very awesome tee, to be honest. The one thing I definitely do wanna say is this cream tee right here is a lot softer than the previous tee I just showed you. The previous tee is a lot thicker and it is a lot sturdier. This one, um, it does flow better, I guess, and it is a lot softer, so I ain't mad at it. Uh, again, sizing is a size two I got this in. It fits the same way that uh, the previous tee, why do you keep running tee, fits. One thing I definitely want to bring up in regards to sizing is that I think there's some inconsistency in regards to like what the sizing is with some of the pieces. Now I had someone reach out to me through IG and we had to do a comparison in regards to the shirt that he purchased and the shirt that I got. Now this is in comparison to the why do you keep running tee. So he ordered a size three where they lacked a little bit of quality control was how they packed it. Even though he ordered a size three, he's happy with the with, with the with the shirt that he got, even though it was a size two. When he asked me if, what size I got, I did I did tell him I got a size two. So we did basically measurement comparisons. I did come to notice that my T, even though being a size two, had was bigger by a bit. Um, compared to his size two. Nonetheless, we're both happy with each size, but I wonder what a size three actually measures to, since mine being a size two measured to something greater than his. So I wanna see if there's any inconsistencies or discrepancies there, but who knows? At the end of the day, this is merch and they are using good quality uh, materials, so I'm mad at it. Nonetheless, I love this April 19th tee. It's one of my favorites so far, and I can see this thing in my closet for quite some time. And last but not least is this crew neck right here this is the april 19th crew neck now very similar to what i just showed you prior which was the april 19th t now again very similar aesthetics in regards to the print it has the fear of god prints in the front with the race printing april 19th at the bottom the back does have like i said what i like to call el nino on the back, the print, still a dark print with one, two, three on the back. Now, the only difference between this and what came out in regards to the tee is that obviously this is a set in sleeve crew neck. It's not a raglan, it's a set in sleeve. This is oversized, I did get a size two in this, but the, the sleeves have the RRR on the side from Revington. And this time they're a raised print. I mean, previously to the other hoodies that I had, the prints have only been Again, just flat uh, screen print. This is a race print with the RRR on the side. The collar has a, a very, it's its not a thick, thick in the sense of it being in your, your typical regular crew neck collar, but it's not thick in material. This is very soft. I believe this is a, a terry cloth inside. A very, very soft terry cloth inside, which is pretty, pretty awesome to feel, honestly speaking. The hemming at the bottom, does fit more relaxed than your typical uh, crew necks that do come out. It's not as, uh, you know, sewed in, tightly sewed in as, as other crew necks, but I don't mind it. Uh, the oversized fit does make it seem, you know, like it flows uh, quite a bit. I was looking forward to getting this in the black. I do have one of the homies sending me the black one in this in the size one. So hopefully I'll be able to make a second video to give you a size comparison in regards to what a size one would be with a size two. I'm also looking forward to get, I believe it's called um, 
the mountain T, which, you know, similar to the hat, it has the one, two, three, fear of God. And at the back, I believe it says California, uh, Los Angeles, California. There were a few other things that came out like, uh, what was it like the mountain hoodie uh, the mountain hoodie in like I guess a cream colorway as well They had the mountain uh, Sweatpants in black and in like again a cream colorway. I know when you were at the at the runway show When they were selling merch, uh, they had Samba perform and they had a Samba fear of God uh, uh, Revington collaboration hoodie there was also, I believe it's called the shell tee and the shell um, hoodie. Now these tees and these hoodies were, I believe they were only sold at the show. I didn't see them pop up at the website. Uh, they do resell for quite a bit of money, which is pretty ridiculous. Uh, I had someone offer me something for like 900 US. Uh, they, they brought it down to I think like 750. I personally wouldn't buy it for that price to be honest. Even though these things, these, these this merch, I want to say is considered mainline because of the eternal tags and the mainline tags, uh, the care for tags that are inside our mainline also, I would rather purchase some of the new eternal collection at those prices, like some of the Marino wool uh, crew necks or their Henleys or their, their uh, polos. Again, better material, softer, as opposed to something that's just merch. Uh, again, it all depends on how you want to look. I, I like the cleaner look. This is more street wear. I still don't mind it, but at those prices, I would rather get better quality material mainline stuff than, again, merch. Now, keep in mind, it was limited. It did sell out um, when you went to the runway show, but again, think about the quality over the piece at the end of the day. Uh, I know they did have another, I believe it's called, um, actually the staff members got this very, very interesting um, hoodie. I think it was the staff members, I don't know if it was behind the scenes or the people that are telling people where to sit. Now I know those, that was only for staff members. I don't think they sold them at all. I don't think anyone's even allowed to have them. But if you're a staff member, hey, you know, just on the, on the low, slide to my DM, we might be able to work something out. And what else do I do? I remember seeing from that show. Um, that's pretty much it, which is pretty cool in regards to merch. Again, I'm looking forward to getting one of the hoodies, uh, the mountain hoodie. I do want to see the difference in the hoodies. I want to know if it's still identity trade behind the hoodies, even though I don't think it was because it didn't have that concealed kangaroo pocket. This time it looked like it was just a straight kangaroo pocket that still showed with the, you know, the stitching outside. But again, I want to see what the difference is between the past collaborations. Like I said, the, the very first witness, the witness, uh, sorry, witnessing the hoodie, as well as the revival and the uh, Dave hoodie. I want to see what this collaboration shows that's different overall i think these pieces are really awesome i think again i personally started co uh, collecting a lot of these pieces between revington and fear of god i ain't mad at this collaboration it's interesting enough to see that they put such good qualities in regards to merch the detail in regards to merch is amazing and I mean, you can only take my word for it. If you've ever gone to a concert or purchased anything Kanye related, Travis Scott related, uh, they do put a little bit more thought into their merch, but not like this. This is different. I would call this high-end merch. And that's personally what I think. Anyways, I hope y'all like this review. I hope that you guys got some good information in regards to the sizing, the colors. There will be a video number two once I receive some of the other pieces. So be on the lookout for that. But now let's get into the part that everybody likes to see. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna style these pieces together because your boy always gotta look flat and motivated, you know, inspire some of y'all in case y'all getting mental blockage in regards to how you would rock these pieces. With that being said, let's get into those fits. Brrrr. Yeah. Where do I start? Sharpen skills and case they want bars. A good dude, but addiction tainted my heart. A false addict to shoes, clothes, and maybe some cars. Some bright jewels and gold chains. They made me lust hard. No comfortable zone that's uncomfortable. You have it now, but tomorrow they got something new. You flaunt to crowds, hoping that they worship you. But all the smiles and the compliments won't comfort you. You need real love. Yeah, that's where it all starts. It can start with yourself and let the love spark. Accept yourself unconditionally. Love all parts. Congratulate yourself. You don't 
don't need a hallmark, that's real facts. I'm saying, what's the point of money with depleted health? Life's abundances are found to all have wealth. That's in love, that's in fortune in your spirit realm. So work on every aspect of your life and heal yourself. I know, and just I'm heal yourself. Sure. These moments gon' get much better. Heal yourself, hell sleep, and just heal so. yourself. Keep calm and just face the weather. I know, I'm sure. These moments gon' get much better. Hell sleep, rain, snow. Keep calm and just face the weather. Reading books by Malcolm X and Martin Luther Speaking facts about life and how the truth hurt Everyone is liking lies, a blinding future Try to live a loving life, you'll find a super uh, And when the change come, embrace the sun every moment When the rain is done, rain replenishes new life from where it came from So every down has an up and remain strong Yeah, Make your purpose count for you and not for someone else Your happiness remains in you and not in someone's wealth Take the first step, look at you if you need some help don't give up on what you do and put it on the shelf From failures come success, don't think you succeed at failing Every opportunity is a form of training Making you much stronger for a smoother sailing Take a chance on moving forward, don't continue waiting I know, I'm, I'm sure, sure these moments gon' get much better Hell sleep, Man, rain snows, waiting. keep calm and just face the weather I know, I'm sure, these moments gon' get much better I'm never gonna forget where I come from and what produced me. That's my energy. You must understand. The bottom dictate the top. The roots hold the tree up. You the roots when you at the bottom. Don't never forget. That's a wrap for this episode of Styles by Philly. As you can see, I put some fuego outfits together for this Fear God Revington Hollywood Bowl merch collaboration. So happy to still see Jerry Lorenzo and Revington putting in work, putting their collaborative thoughts together and coming out with this merch. I was so happy to see that they came out with something new like the t-shirts. I don't think they've ever done that and finally they did. You know, let me know in the comment box below how you guys feel in regards to this collaboration, this Hollywood Bowl merch, the new sizing that they came out with as well as what did you guys get did you guys get something that you guys were looking forward to were you able to get something online or if you went to the show were you able to cop because i know some things did sell out prior to um i guess exiting the show i have no idea but the people who went to the show definitely got a great experience also in the description box below you can check out all my outfits in full detail so you know what i'm rocking and make sure you follow me on ig at sounds by philly for my music make sure you check out the latest video as well as the new video and stream my stuff on all streaming platforms and before we get going i like to give it out for the day to none other than my brother my hermano my homie who's out in Cali, Martin. Look at that outfit right there. He's rocking that new Fear of God and Revington collaboration from the Hollywood Bowl. You know, he didn't waste no time. He went straight to work to make sure these outfits were out there and people were, you know, looking at them. Anyways, with that being said, love, peace, and happiness. Peace. With that, uh, it's all three in one, baby. That's how we do. That's how we get down. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. In the description box, I like the other one. Oh, I put some fire outfits together in my together. What the hell did I say? Together, together. Wow. I'm still. I'm still happy. Why are you still happy that they're collaborating together? Thumbs up, dude. Happy I was able to get them. You know, happily. Hopefully, you guys. Well, happily, hopefully. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Cool.